Hello friends, this is Brother Carlos. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to overcome, how to defeat the fear of lack or fear of poverty, okay? How to destroy it, how to get rid of it, amen? This kind of fear has been paralyzing a lot of people and also keeping them impoverished, lacking, okay? Amen? It's a fear. It's demonic. It has to be overcome. Now, the Word of God is going to teach us about this kind of fear and how to overcome it. So now, let me go to the Word of God here and quote from Proverbs chapter 11, verse 24. This is what the Word of the Lord says. There is one who scatters, yet increases more. And there is one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. Okay, amen. Now, let me elaborate on this verse before I'll tell you what to do to defeat that fear today. Okay, amen. So, the Bible says there, there is one who scatters. Okay, there are people that are always giving. They're always, you know, throwing money out there. And guess what? They increase more. The more they give out, the more they're going to make. Okay, this is Bible principle, okay? This is God's principle. God is the one that created things to work in this fashion, okay? Now, the Bible also says there is one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. There's some kind of people, there are this kind of people out there, okay? They are always afraid of giving. And they think this way, well, if I give, then I may lack. I may not have enough until the end of the month. That's why I rather not give. I rather just keep it all to myself. Well, let me tell you something. That line of thinking leads to poverty. Okay? If you try to withhold money and not give out, like the word of the Lord encourages us to give, like Luke 638 says, give and it shall be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall men put onto your bosom, for with the measure that you measure, it will be measured back to you. If you give a lot, you're going to get back a lot. If you give a little bit, you're going to get back, get back a little bit. But if you give nothing, you're going to get back nothing. Then the devil is, gonna to, is going to eat up your blessings, your finances, your money. Pretty soon, okay, you're begging for, for bread. Okay, that's the way it is. It's the word of God. It's not me. It's the word of God. So uh, there's a fear that hinders people from giving. And that fear, okay, is demonic. It's satanic. Because Satan knows that if you are afraid of giving, because you are afraid that you're going to lack, well, Satan knows that that fear will paralyze you and will keep you in bondage and will keep you impoverished. Now... Let's do a little exercise in here. Let's break that fear right now. And I'm going to tell you what to do next, okay? Right now, we're going to break that fear, okay? Because that fear is leading you nowhere, okay? That fear is keeping you in bondage and impoverished, okay? Amen? So once you get rid of that fear, then doors are going to be open for you to prosper, to succeed, to, you know, uh, 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 take advantage of opportunities that will be presented right before your very eyes. Why? Because God is going to be the one opening the doors for you. Because now you're, you are exercising, you know, His principles. So this is what I'm going to encourage you to do, okay? And you should do it. Let's break this fear right now. How do we confront fear? Okay. Well, fear has to be confronted. If fear is not confronted, it will continue paralyzing you. This is what I want you to do in order to defeat this fear right now. Because right now you have an opportunity. Also, I am your teacher. Okay. I'm teaching you this. And the word of the Lord encourages you, encourages people, okay, to support their teachers in the word, is in the word of God in the New Testament. So all I want to say to you is this. Right now you see on the screen, you know, donation options. Okay. Amen. What I'm going to do is because I already know that fear is already kicking in in you. Well, if I give, I may lack. Well, listen, 
I'm going to encourage you right now, okay? Right now, right now is your opportunity, okay, to give to my ministry, okay? Overcome that fear right now because you are not going to lack. Once you give, you're going to be opening doors for more to come to you. And God is our witness. God is watching what's going to happen here right now. Because right now we're going to cast this fear out. And, and you're going to cast this fear out by doing what Satan does not want you to do. Okay? You're going to cast this fear out right now by giving to my ministry right now. Okay? That is a must. Okay? Amen. Because I'm the one teaching you here right now. And God himself wants you to give to my ministry right now. God wants you to give to my ministry right now. Overcome that fear right now. Give your very best. Okay? Now pay attention. Okay? After you give, then you have overcome the fear. Okay? That you are going to lack. No, you're not going to lack. Okay? Pretty soon you're going to see. There will be abundance coming your way. Put it soon. It can be even today or it can be tomorrow. It can be the next week, whatever. But here's the thing. This is what I want you to do next. To keep the ball rolling and to keep this fear, okay, kicked out of your life, okay, for good. You are going to start giving money away to poor people. Those homeless people on street corners, okay? Amen. Give money to them. $5, $10, $20, whatever you can afford to give to them, give it to them. Just if you have, if you can afford to give 20, then don't give a dollar. Okay? That's not how it works. If you can afford to give 20 to them, give it to them $20. And don't ask them what they're going to do with the money. That's not none of your business. Let not your right hand, your right hand know what your left hand is doing. Okay? We're not supposed to ask people or tell them what to do with the money. You give, you are giving to God. Because the Bible also says in Proverbs, whoever gives to the poor lends to God. Whoever gives to the poor lends to God. I'm just telling you right now how to overcome this demon right now and to cast this fear, paralyzing fear of you, or, you know, off of you right now. Okay? Do yourself a favor. Donate what you can right now in my ministry and starting tomorrow whenever you can start giving money away to the poor people out there amen that's it if you do it you're gonna see results right away immediate results and remember god is watching what we are doing here okay amen and one more time god wants you to sow in my ministry because i'm the one telling you what to do god wants you to bless my ministry right now God bless you now. Bye.